today we're not going to talk about the Bible. Um, this case is this is going to be about morality. Honestly, we're going to talk morality. So I don't I don't know if you want to uh, if you guys want to hear this. It's going to be pretty morbid as well too. But the question is morality. Does something make you know? How we, honestly, because I was presented with this situation, somebody, and I didn't know how I felt about it, um, and I kind of, I fell on one end of the spectrum, so I'm going to share with you a real story. This is a real story from somebody I, I know. They shared it with me, but then also, it's related to kind of some of the stuff we heard. That's what sparked this thought for me today. So, just listen. I don't know what you're going to get out of this one. This isn't really going to be more personal development as well, as much as I would say, uh, mental development in a way. Uh, but what I can say is let me just give you a reminder to not react to things. I mean, I could, let me give you another feel. I will. I mean, I, I asked my sister, I asked her the other day, I was, I was talking to her cause you know, it, we bring up all this. Like I said, what's the point when people recognize that they have, it was funny. I was like, what's the point when you recognize you, you have a trauma or you've gone through this, you've gone through that. Everyone says we need to heal here. I said, what's the point? I said, what's the point of figuring all that out? And she said, so that eventually you could learn what causes you, you know, if you know there's a reason why you react like somehow, that you, you could learn to handle things better in life. And I said, that's ironic because that, that was our philo. So let me give you another reminder to, uh, what's it called? Another reminder simply to just not react, you know? Not react as aggressively, not react as soon. And sometimes, I mean, it, uh, when she, I was like, it's kind of crazy then. I could only imagine all of us go through specific stuff here. Um, but that's why when something gets, ha something happens, how you guys react might be caused from something. That's why everyone reacts differently. Everybody reacts different to a ban. Everybody reacts different to a timeout. Everybody reacts different to a joke, a comment. Uh, so it's actually pretty interesting uh, to think about. So. I guess that's a little one I could give you. Spy's coming down here a little bit more, but here is what happened today. So Miss Pelosi was talking, and, and I'm going to be very candid with you and blunt. Um, she was talking about the people dying from COVID, and she said, we carry every single, that's what I wrote down. She said, we carry the, the, their deaths on our conscience. She said, every single one. She said, it's not just people. It's not just this, like we carry every single death on our conscience. That's what she said. So yeah, spies really, really picking up. The pace is staying the same. It's actually really, really weird. Airlines have already been down. I mean, watch UVXY. I think 1480 is your key. 1480 is from the Monday gap up. I think once the VIX goes above that without giving up the gap up, which is right here, pretty much 350. 350 is your danger zone. So if the market comes to 350 here today, if it goes below 350, I would pay attention. If it doesn't go above 350, I think we're going to be in a range. Mm -mm. So as part of this, again, this philo is just very, very weird. Isn't this, I mean, again, I, I wish, I, I again, you guys know what happened yesterday. I, I really did not have anything, you know, I, I slept most of the day. Um, but she said that today, and it, it reminded me of a story that somebody told me, okay? So I'll share with this story, and this just leaves a moral dilemma or a moral question. Um, and, and honestly, and why I say it is, and this is how it relates to it, is because when Nancy said that, I kind of disagreed with her in the sense that I feel like she's just saying that, but I don't think she really feels it, uh, quite frankly. And, and I say that because of this story, just because depending on certain situations and how close it is to you, I feel like it affects everybody differently. So here's the story, okay? And tell me what you would judge this as. I, there's this guy, this is my friend's friend. They tell me, he's like, yeah, my friend killed two people. He said that his friend killed two people in a car crash. So instantly... I'm, I'm thinking this guy was like drunk, he was high, did something, got in a car, killed two people, was being reckless, right? That's what my first assumption is. So tell me this, you kill, you get in a car accident and people pass away. Is that morally wrong or right? How, how do you feel about that? It's very heavy. That's what I said. This, this story gets crazy. What would you say about it? How would that make you feel? Would that weigh on your conscience? That's what that, that, that was the discussion I had with him. 
would that weigh would that weigh on your conscience? Yes, is it this not wrong nor right? Isn't it very difficult? Yes, we will go into more detail, but honestly, I mean, right off the bat, I was like, whoa, I would feel horrible. Well, that's the thing. So this guy who did it, he didn't feel bad at all. So my friend saw him a few days later, and he was just very nonchalant about it. And he was like, oh, well, they, they died. And he's, he, he was more worried it was going to hurt his music career. <laughs> that, was the, that was the response. And that, so again, and my question was, well, but is that more, but think about it though. Ah, hold on, hold on. I know how it's framed right now. So I said, well, what happened? I asked, I said like, okay. I said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, how did this, how did this occur? And I figured he was drunk or something or high, but he wasn't at all. This happened in the daytime broad daylight, no drugs or alcohol was involved. And he literally was just merging into the freeway. He rear-ended somebody and they were in a, uh, a very old car that wasn't the nicest of a car. And they swerved off of the freeway, fell down a hill and they hit a tree and both of the people passed away. So this guy was literally just getting on the freeway. Literally a 20-something-year-old kid. So it wasn't like he did, you know, again, think about it. I thought, I even asked because I thought he was just getting, I thought, I thought he was inebriated, something of that nature. Then I said, what? So he's at fault. Well, yeah, I, well, I don't know. Well, actually, I know. I think there's videos. Mm -mm -mm. This kind of sounds like a movie. So now the question is, though, is that morally right or wrong? And how would that weigh on you? I don't know the answer. All I know is that because at the end, of, and, and again, I related that to what I heard because I feel like I think it depends on on different things because I think some people took it different. Some people could, you know, it's, it's just it's a weird situation. Mm 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 mm. -mm. And I'd feel horrible every day. Well, that's, and now this is what I'm relating it to is just where it's like, well, when you say something weighs on your conscience, I think it's just, I think it's interesting to see how it's just interesting to see how depending on what occurred, you're going to feel it a little bit more differently. And it's interesting to see how some people don't care. Uh, like for me, I was shocked at first. I was like, but I, after I heard, I was like, okay, it's a little decent. But for me, it's still dark, honestly. I was like, I don't know how I would feel about that. And I said, it's crazy how life works, but you know, shit like that happens. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty interesting. Oh, wow. See, you almost killed a kid in a car, dude. That's see, it's, it's that's why it's like, bro. I well, God, God is good, man. Good thing both of you out there. You know, it's just wild. Uh, uh, uh. So, and then some of you posted other negative stories right there. So this is what I'm. I mean, here's the philo. I mean, the philo I'm I'm I'm, I'm talking about. The philo is you know is morality when how. And I think even with COVID, you deal with death and you deal with a lot of this stuff. And I, I just really think it's a coin toss between person and person, how, how somebody takes things. It's funny. I heard that story like yesterday, two days ago, I think. Uh, so my, my friend told me that. So I think it's interesting. I mean, I usually would have a bigger thought on this, but I was just related how, you know, I think when some people say it weighs on the conscious, I think like it, it reminds me of that story. I think... Even when I tell you this story, I think it weighs on every single one of your consciences, but I think it does so differently. And I don't know, and I think depending on who it was and how it played out, it, it changes a little bit. But that, that is your philo. <laughs> I, have no, I have no, I mean, can we go, I mean, can we go off of this? Can we continue this in any way? I, I don't know what to tell you with it, but it's not, 
I mean, the question is morality. The question is, is something that is inherently wrong without the intent? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys are like, what the fuck? Like, this is, I'm telling you, I mean, it's a little bit weirder there. So, well, just think about the morality. And that, that's why, I mean, a lot of, I mean, honestly, and just be real, like for real though, honestly, like it, it is depressing, but compare that to, uh, to what's going on here. It's just like with COVID, like some of you, honestly, I think some people talk about COVID and they're saying it weighs on their conscience and it doesn't. Uh, and some people say it does and it really does. And I think it has to do with your involvement with it. So, and I think some of you guys get over dramatic with it. I think some people who really experience it probably aren't going to be sharing it with us here. And it just affects everybody differently. And that's why I think it's just death. It's just dealing with that in a weird way. So that's what got me starting about that. Uh, so that's it. That's your, that's your philo. That's a, probably your weirdest philo all year. <laughs> that's it. We're coming, we're coming off of the, the sickness, but maybe we could get into a, a what's it called? A, uh, a econ lesson here in a little bit. But I mean, so I, someone told me that story yesterday, two days ago. And I was just like, dude, what? And then Nancy said that today and it just, it made me think of that. You know what I'm saying? It just made me think of that because somebody could be, and I don't know, I, cause we had a big debate on this when they, when they told me this story, I had a really big, cause I was like, huh? Like, I don't, I don't know how you would, you know, it's the ambiguity of ethics for real. Yes. This was a real philosophical one. And that's why I think it's, you know, I think we could philosophically discuss that with, with the current situation too. Mm -mm -mm. and philo balances me so it's good though i think i like actually i kind of like that philo i just want you to think about it i want you to think about morality and ethics and that's why too honestly if i can't leave it with anything always seek to be better and it, and it really it depends what you believe too at the end of the day it's what you know in your heart and believe i mean people could say anything honestly in a situation like that i could say whatever i want about that kid i could say whatever i want about pelosi but you you know only you will truly know your your real intention and, and what you believe, you know, and, and how something affects you in that sense, you know, it, it's simple as that. It's just, how does it get you there? How would I feel? I, I would feel bad. I would feel awful. I, I would say, but then if in a weird way, the minute I, at first I thought I didn't like the kid, I was like, damn, that's like awful. I thought he was just like a drunk high dude. And then they said it's not. And like, I had sympathy for him, but I also was like, I don't know. I was like, man, like, I don't know how I could deal with that myself, but at the same time, I think it's, you know, it, and, and after seeing that, though, but, but even seeing his nonchalant response, like I had sympathy for him, but the fact that he can, you know, people die and people don't care. Like that's the, that, that's, <laughs> that's why I literally and I, I'm, I'm like, I laugh at that because why do you think I wrote that down today? Why do you think <laughs> I didn't need to say anything to you? But it's just like, I don't think you, I think some of you would be shocked to the morality uh, and ethics and how some people view it or in, in that, in that sense, like, you know, so that's why, like, I think a lot of people play and say stuff that that's uh, emotional and that they say that they really like it weighs on their conscience. But like, I've, I've, you know, I know people who've done that type of stuff and it, it they don't, doesn't weigh anything on them. So, I mean, the, the question on you, I guess, I guess here's a real good f philosophical point. When you, I mean, I actually no, because I don't, I don't want it to be condemnation, but the question is just think about how you, you know, do you, what, how, what are you conscious of? And do you, you know, how do you cope with it more or less? But it's just crazy out there. So that's why I, I, I was just reminded of that in a weird, weird way. But... That is your philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of like the market, a little bit dark there, a little, a little weird, short and sweet. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. You're on mobile. Press hide chat. X out the chat. Hit that thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch this main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate course. Follow me on Instagram at the trading fraternity. Keep it positive and respectful. New guys, don't be too shy to say hi or too high to say shy.